We're going to talk about cavities right now. There's nothing good to say about them, right? They're painful. <laughs> they rot your teeth. They increase your dentist bills. Yeah. But good news, there are certain foods that can help prevent them. Here to share what they are is the author of this book, Cure Tooth Decay, Heal and Prevent Cavities, with nutrition. Please welcome Ramiel Nagel. Good Hi. to see you. Nice welcome to, to the show. You. Welcome to the show. So, this all started because of your daughter's teeth. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> when my daughter was just one year old, there was a little brown spot on her tooth. We thought, oh my gosh, is that a cavity? And then it got worse and worse, spread to more of her teeth. And in the worst uh, moment, some of her teeth were just crumbling away. And we didn't want to put her under surgery. So, I looked for another way and found a solution. So how did you know nutrition was a part of it? I didn't know nutrition was a part of it originally, but I was led to the work of a famous dentist, Weston Price, who was healing cavities in over 95% of his people using nutrition. So we tried it and got good results. How unusual is it for a child that young to have cavities? Uh, it, <laughs> nowadays, it's becoming more and more common uh, about 25% of young children have cavities, and it's on the rise. Wow. Okay. Well, let's just take a look at some of the foods that contribute to cavities. This is kind of a, a brief list of what you um, gave me. Like sugar, is, I, I know we have to avoid sugar, but like white flour, cookies, donuts, uh, I guess because of the sugar, but like white flour and pasteurized milk, those yeah. are both that kind of surprised us. Why is that? Well, our modern diet, we're getting a lot of our calories from white flour and white sugar, and um, it doesn't give us the nutrients that we need to be healthy because the food is processed by industry and has all the vitamins taken out. It's prepared oh. in an uncareful way, and so we just don't have enough vitamins to build healthy teeth and so bones. So basically it's not what's in those foods that hurts, it's what's not in them. The They're lack built. of vitamins. Oh, exactly. Okay. Everything's been processed out of them, right? Uh, and that's true, but with sugar... Sugar is toxic to our body, so it causes our glands to go out of balance, and then we have either tooth decay or gum disease. Gotcha. Okay, let's talk about the foods that we should be eating to prevent cavities. Here's a, a brief list, like raw milk, cheese, cream, organic butter, uh, organic liver. Uh, I don't, know, I don't know if I like organic <laughs> liver. <laughs> then you should go to the grass-fed meats then. <laughs> okay, but can I, can I take it as a supplement instead, or is the real thing better? Uh, the real thing is good. There's a fermented cod liver oil or high vitamin cod liver oil that you can take that has a good flavor. And the reason why liver or grass-fed butter is important is because it has fat-soluble vitamins, it has hormones, it has nutrients our bodies need that in the modern diet we don't eat that. We're eating sugar instead of these dense, nutrient-rich foods so, we don't, so we're not as healthy as we could be. So if a person who has a problem with tooth decay st suddenly stops eating all these bad foods and starts eating all these good foods, how long will it take to see some results? Uh, people have results anywhere from two weeks to six months' time, and it depends on what changes that they make and how healthy they are beforehand. But in my personal example, I had four cavities over four years ago, and now they're gone, and my teeth are much healthier. Wow. And you haven't had a cavity Amazing. since. So basically, it almost like the, all those vitamins and nutrients, what, like it builds a barrier or something to prevent your teeth from decaying or your gums from de rot, and, you know, it just your mouth from going bad? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, our, our bodies are needing a ton of nutrients to be healthy, and when we don't take those nutrients in, then our bodies slowly decay. And so, we, and so the older people get, the more cavities they have because they're eating the wrong kind of foods. Okay, well, actually, you can download a chapter for free on your website. We have more information on our website. The book is Cure Tooth Decay. Ramiel Nagel, thank you so much, thank you so for much. that insight.